Well, I came by Nebraska by two of the best Americans I know, Willa Cather and Ron Hull. Ron Hull graduated from Dakota Wesleyan University with a major in speech and drama. He had no idea what he was going to do. The Army quickly took care of that, and after basic training, he wound up in special services, where he discovered television. He wrote, produced, and hosted 93 weeks of front and center for the U.S. Army in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Thanks to the GI Bill and Syracuse University, Ron received a master's degree in television. And from that time on, his interest and devotion has been to programming, programming, programming. October 12, 1955, Ron joined Jack McBride and station KUON-TV one month before its first anniversary. Those wonderful early days of black and white television. Educational and instructional television were always at the heart of the mission. In 1966, Ron, always yearning for faraway places, joined the Foreign Service just in time to serve as the television programming advisor to the government of South Vietnam in Saigon, a project which brought television to Vietnam for the first time. Thanks to Jack McBride, Hall came back to Nebraska and turned his attention to programming featuring history. Here is your host, Ron Hall. As recently as 150 years ago, this vast and beautiful expanse of country, following poetry of anyone for Tennyson is a production of the Nebraska Educational Television Network. Six feet. All right, Mr. Gorgon. Let her rip. And drama. Two wonderful executives of CPB and PBS, Ron Hull and Suzanne Wilde. In 1982, Washington called. As director of the program fund for the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, Ron initiated the American Experience series, which funded Eyes on the Prize, the Civil War, great performances, and a myriad of other staples of public television. In 1988, Ron returned to Nebraska, where he lives, and is proud to work people with Rod Bates and his staff to this day. People who don't. As our own Willa Cather said, the road is all. And the road that brought me to Nebraska was my lucky one. I didn't just hitch my wagon to a star. I hitched it to a comet. Jack McBride, the founder of Nebraska Educational Telecommunications. I'm grateful to him and myriad others. For me, broadcasting is a calling. It's like being an actor or an artist. You have to do it. Be it commercial broadcasting or public broadcasting, we're all in public service. And I've worked with some great ones. Right here in Lincoln, Roger Larson and Jim Ebel. In Omaha, Howard Stonaker. Down in Beatrice, Bud Pence. They knew what public service is. And thank you, Board of Directors and members of the Nebraska Broadcasters Association. I thank you for this high honor and for the privilege of serving right alongside you. <laughs>